on this episode, we're going to be taking a look at and doing a tasting review of Cardenas Legacy Tequila. Right here on the Tequila Hombre, coming up next. Hello and welcome to this episode of the Tequila Hombre, where today we're going to be taking a look at and doing a tasting review of Cardenas Legacy Tequila, and we have both the Blanco and the Reposado here for my review. These were sent by the brand for an honest review, and I know the owner of uh, this brand very well, Chris Cardenas, uh, and he knows I will give him exactly that, an honest review. All right, so let's not waste any more time, though. Let's get into how these tequilas are made. All right, so uh, Cardenas Legacy Tequila comes out of NOM 1468, which is the famous distillery that makes the Banderas tequila that I like so much. So I'm hoping this one um, is, uh, is if, if not as good, better than the Banderas, but we'll see when we get into the tasting portion. So let's talk a little bit about the production of this tequila. <clears throat> of course, Chris Cardenas, a good friend of mine, um, he would not allow any additives in his tequila, so I can assure you this is additive-free. But They use six-year-old agave that they cook in brick uh, stone ovens, uh, and they're cooked for 48 hours. After they're done uh, cooling down, they then extract the sugars out of the agave fibers using a roller mill. Once uh, the sugars are extracted, it's then fermented in stainless steel tanks. And then after fermentation is complete, it is then twice distilled, using stainless steel stills with copper coils. Now the Blanco is then bottled at 40% alcohol by volume. And the Reposado is uh, rested for eight months in white oak barrels before it is then bottled and sold as a Reposado. All right, so now you guys have an idea of um, how this tequila is made. I can assure you the distillery that making this, you know, they, they make, they, they've made some good stuff. So let's see what the quality is like on these. I assure you though, with Chris, I'm I'm not at all worried about this being good quality because he knows tequila. I've known him for a while. And so I'm really excited and, and interested in seeing uh, what this delivers. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the tasting portion and see what this tequila is all about. All right, so let's get into the tasting portion and see what this tequila is all about. We'll put, uh, nice solid seal on the bottle. It is using an artificial cork, so you don't have to worry about it leaking later. So, I think it's a good, good tight fit in the bottle. All right, so looking at this in the glass, in the glass, in the glass. All right, looking at it in the glass, it coats the glass beautifully. You can see the legs and tears forming on it. So it's going to have a nice viscous mouthfeel to it, nice creaminess and oiliness to it looking at the tequila itself it is crystal clear looks beautiful we, and like i said before you taste with your eyes your nose and your mouth <clears throat> so i'm already starting to salivate because it looks good so far so let's see what we get on the nose uh on this there's definitely a nice minerality to it so it's definitely using some nice mineral rich water which i like to see <clears throat> on the nose, I'm definitely getting a, a sweet cinnamon and baking spices from the cooked agave. This is kind of a fruity um, nose on it too, so definitely picking up some like citrus, some sweet orange on it. It's definitely more on the floral side, but definitely fruity, and uh, I you do get that rich cinnamon and baking spices from the cooked agave, so it smells really good. All right, so let's see what we get on the flavor profile, but first I'm gonna acclimate my mouth to 40% uh, alcohol since this is the first sip of tequila for the day, so. Gotta get the mouth acclimated. Wait for the stinging to stop a little bit. All right, so now my gums and my lips and stuff know that there's 40% alcohol coming in and this won't cause any more problems, any burning or anything. It's normally that first sip where you just have to get your, your lips and your gums and stuff acclimated to 40% alcohol. All right, so here we go. It's 
It does have a nice oily, creamy mouthfeel to it. Definitely picking up cinnamon and baking spices. Up front, little, cin little hint of citrus in there. Some pepper, definitely picking up some like black pepper. And little notes of chocolate coming through on it, which I do love in a good Blanco. When you can pick up like some chocolate notes, it's more of from the roasting of the agave and stuff that comes through. It's really interesting. And there's a slight hint of vanilla in there as well. Uh, but just like, it's not an artificial vanilla. It's a real vanilla, but it's kind of just like a sweet vanilla cinnamon and kind of note on the finish. Uh, very nice. This is a nice Blanco. So um, I definitely could sit and enjoy this and enjoy it with a nice cigar. I definitely would recommend picking it up if you wanted to try it and we're worried. Don't worry. This is actually a really nice Blanco. Ferment and still has it for $49.99. And uh, it's well worth it. I would buy it again for that price. So um, definitely something I would recommend picking up and trying. It's a really nice Blanco. All right, so let's see what we get now on the Reposado. All right, so let's pop open the Reposado. I still have a little bit of that chocolate note sitting on my tongue from that Blanco, which is good. I like that. All right, so... Uh, Pour a little bit of the reposado in. Now, again, this is for eight months in white oak barrels. <clears throat> so let's take a look at this in the glass. Coats the glass beautifully. You can see the legs and tears starting to form on it. So it's going to have a nice viscosity to it, which is what we like. Looking at the tequila itself, it is crystal clear. It has a light straw-ish color, um, but looks looks great. All right, let's see what we get on the nose on this. Mmm, that smells so good. It definitely has a nice barrel presence in it, so you do to get the sweet cinnamon and baking spices and stuff from the cooked agave, a little fruitiness in there. But then you pick up that beautiful vanilla and caramel notes that come through from the barrel. A hint of cherry in there as well. And almost like a little bit of, um, of a stone fruit, like a um, plum in there as well. It smells really good. All right, so let's see what we get on the flavor profile. Enough with sticking my nose in. I want to drink some. Here we go. Really nice cinnamon and baking spices up front. Definitely a little slight hint of, of like a Bing cherry note that comes through. Some citrus, some orange in there, orange peel. And then you get this beautiful vanilla with a hint of, of caramel coming through on the finish. Um, really nice. Reposado, really nice. I definitely can enjoy this with a nice cigar. At $52.99, I would definitely buy this again. Enjoyable. So how would I rate these? I'd give the Blanco and the Repo both for Agave. I'd recommend it. It's good. It's not. It's nothing earth shattering, new or, or mind blowing, but it's a solid tequila either way. And I would recommend picking it up if you haven't tried it yet and try it, add it to your collection. Definitely worth the price, very reasonably priced, which you gotta love Chris for that. And a very enjoyable brand. So I think, I can't wait to see what the Añejo is gonna be like, um, but I enjoy the Blanco and the Repo and I recommend picking it up. So there you go. If you like the information I shared, make sure you click the like button there, give me a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad you could come and join us today. And make sure you click that subscribe button right there and the notification bell next to it. So you get notified every time I go live or have a, a video posted so you don't miss any of these. We'd love to see your comments and uh, and have you contribute to the community. And other than that, um, like I always say, life is too short to drink bad tequila. So if you want to pick up um, Cardenas Legacy Tequila, go ahead. You'll be in good shape. Salute.